Hello. Today we're going to be discussing the uh, Hoffman uh, number 40 air vent or steam vent, which is designed to um, let the air out of uh, radiators and to allow the steam to uh, enter and do its magic. On the outside, it basically consists of a shell and a eighth inch national pipe thread uh, male fitting which then threads into the uh, radiator tapping at the appropriate spot a tongue which is, allows uh, water which may collect inside of the vent to drain away and they've been making this uh, vent since the 1950s and it has become sort of uh, the standard as it were consists of a shell with an inside container and inside this uh, copper alloy container is an alcohol mixture which is supposed to boil in the presence of steam, expand and push this bellows against the anvil here, driving the pin up against this tiny hole and preventing the loss of steam or water. So again, what's supposed to happen is the boiler fires, air is pushed out ahead of the steam, the air enters this vent, pushes out this hole. Sometimes if you put your finger over it, you should feel the air being pushed out. Then, if the system runs long enough, the steam enters this vent and causes the alcohol mixture to, uh, inside of here to flash into steam, expanding it and pushing this bellows up against the hole. Water, if water enters, then the float is also supposed to rise up and uh, prevent the loss of water, although that's generally uh, less effective um, than the um, shutting off against the steam. And they've been making this basic design of uh, bellows uh, since the um, uh, turn of the last, uh, last century. Variations on a theme is the, shall we say, the less expensive model. Uh, this is from Taiwan. Uh, you generally find these in the home center stores. And here's the uh, bellows intact, uh, the bell, excuse me, chamber intact with the stalk. Um, and uh, I would not recommend getting one of these things because it is of, of cheaper construction. Um, let's take a look at the thickness. Here the uh, thickness of this metal is approximately uh, 0 0.023 and the thickness here is almost half that. And I have seen these things crack longitudinally here because there's a lot of stress on this and uh, leak uh, steam in quite a dramatic fashion. And so, again, uh, my grandfather, great grandfather, once taught me that only um, rich people can afford to be cheap. Uh, the rest of us will have to just muddle through with quality. Variations on a the theme. This is the uh, Hoffman uh, number 75 main steam vent. Again, here's the um, chamber. You can see here, this is where they add the liquid, and then they'll stick this in a vat of um, boiling water. This, the uh, alcohol mixture will boil and begin to be emitted, and then uh, the technician will come and dab a bit of molten solder covering the hole. That's a cute trick. 
It's fitted inside. Forms of this uh, when the alcohol mixture condenses, it forms a vacuum and pulls this down. And this is threaded on the end of the steam main, um, either a three-quarter inch male or half-inch uh, female. Uh, air escapes through here. And when the steam arrives, as it should fairly quickly, um, causes the alcohol mixture to uh, expand inside the bellows and shoves this um, ball into the seat, uh, preventing the loss of steam. I have noticed, however, that uh, the Hoffman 75s uh, fail at a little higher rate than they should. Uh, back when they were painting these things green, they uh, seemed to uh, seem to last longer. When they stopped painting these things green, I think they also probably dropped their uh, quality control standards a little bit, and these things seem to be failing at a much higher rate than the old, uh, the older ones. Uh, the old Adege, they don't make them like they used to, might actually be true in this particular case. Variations on a theme. This is the Hoffman 1A of current manufacture, and again, here is the, uh, the chamber, in internal chamber, and um, this actually is adjustable. We'll be getting to that perhaps in another video. Um, for now, I'll just leave you with, uh, with that, and I hope this was useful to you. hope this provided useful information, and if you have any questions, uh, please um, put them in the comments section, and I'll try to answer them. Thank you very much.